A toilet that flushed a U-boat in World War II. A leak in a toilet led to the sinking of U-1206. German U-boats caused a massive menace in World War II. Especially on the Atlantic convoys, where they disrupted the USA's merchant ships to the UK. Even though the U-boats were built with state-of-the-art technology, they too had some crappy problems. U-boats of World War I U-boats were first used in World War I in a primitive stage. The first U-boats of this age had two passengers and carried less in ammunition. They were launched from a mothership and penetrated the enemy harbor, and released their weapon. It lay and Germany dominated the U equals boat technology. At the end of World War I, in the Versailles Treaty, the German Navy came under the hammer and was imposed heavy restrictions. German U-boat technology was banned until the Nazi Party came to power. The rapid industrialization of the German military started once the Nazi Party took over the government. The German Navy received a significant boost, to match the Royal Navy. The German Navy produced two of the largest battleships of its time, the Tirpitz and the Bismarck, and astonished the world. Admiral Dunitz, a World War I U-boat hero, secretly developed U-boat technology parallelly, but the U-boat's effectiveness was kept secret. The U-boats of World War II During the war, to save Britain from a naval blockade, the USA agreed to lend and lease military equipment, and necessary supplies for civilians. Hitler wanted to cut off this lifeline to Britain and ordered his capital ships, Bismarck and Tirpitz, complete the task. Admiral Dunitz insisted on using the U-boats, which were already wreaking havoc. The U-boats were already deployed in the Atlantic and hunted in packs. World War II U-boats had a good range, and the Saint-Nazaire dock in France offered a maintenance pen for the U-boats on the Atlantic. Though technologically advanced, the U-boats posed some technical difficulties. As they ran on batteries charged by a diesel engine, they need to surface once in a while to let out fumes. If the enemy spots them, then it's either death in enemy hands or a cemetery at the bottom of the ocean. U-boats also had tight scrambled areas where sailors had to sleep just below the torpedoes. One U-boat, the U-1206, had an interesting problem. The German U-boat had the state-of-the-art tech when it came to toilets. German U-boats had pressurized toilets that can be used at the depths of the ocean. U-boats can pressurize the excrement and shoot it out like a torpedo. The Incident Captain Karl Adolf Schlitt captained U-1206 and was on a mission to patrol the coast of Scotland. Captain Karl Adolf Schlitt wanted to use the restroom of U-boat and quickly slipped into it. After he has done his duty, he looked for the flush. The U-boat's plumbing work was a bit complex. The captain could not locate the right flush button and unfortunately pulled the one that let seawater and sewage into the U-boat. The U-boat engineers tried to fix the problem, but it was too late. The water reacted with the battery underneath the deck and released chlorine gas. Due to the leak, Captain Karl Adolf Schlitt ordered the U-boat to resurface. The crew of a British aircraft saw the U-boat and attacked, so Karl Adolf Schlitt decided to scuttle the U-boat and send the crew to safety. He ordered the crew to evacuate the U-boat before it sank to the bottom of the ocean. Four men died in the incident, and others sailed to Scotland.